and good afternoon after a momentary bit of blackness uh yes good afternoon um those of you that uh, are regulars uh, certainly on my discord uh, channel will realize i've been having some issues for the last couple of weeks well not those issues but gaming ones um in trying to get uh, SciTech panels working in a flight sim world after uninstalling everything today and reinstalling everything today they still don't work so i thought well i've had x-plane 11 for a while i haven't really done anything uh, in x-plane 11 um so i thought well why not give it a go and to add the insult to injury why not stream it um because hopefully i can get some guidelines uh, i've installed thanks to chris brown uh from a discord uh, the 124th atc plugin no idea what to do with it um and yeah thought i would as chris has just put in uh, discord as well start with something simple like the d4172 uh, which is exactly what i'm done and i've got myself here in yuma um uh, which is where we ended up in Flight Sim World last time. Um, we left San Diego, flew to Yuma, and the aim was to try and get across to Phoenix. Now, I've got no idea how to use navigation in this thing, uh, but I have got my SciTech panels working. So that is a plus. So if we hop inside um, and uh, reset track IR, good afternoon, uh, Captain Chaos. Um, so yes, my SciTech panels do work. So we're here in the D4172, um where i've got to get used to the track ir it keeps taking me out of the plane but that's you know neither here nor there so i can turn the battery master switch on and we've got a thing that i like that already um altimeter on avionics master on so that turns that little lot on i've already got the fuel a fuel um the mixture in because i started up to make sure it would work now if i twist my little thing on the side tech panel we get an engine running now you've got no idea how nice that is to actually uh, be a thing that happens um fuel pump i didn't turn on so let's go to outside view um see if the lights work beacons on on the tail uh nav lights they're on, on the end of the wings uh strobe is on we don't really necessarily need that do we taxi lights are on as well um so yes i've got no idea how i get work out i can get from where i am uh to phoenix i don't know if that'll actually be a thing but we got landing gear lights are on on my nav panel um the flaps on the other panel um on the multi-panel work so the flap switch works so i can control that from my panel i've also got trim on there as well and the autopilot but i don't think this thing's got an autopilot um doesn't look like it so i know i've got to head uh east from here uh, to try and find phoenix but trying to find an airport could be interesting so rudder pedals work so rudder pedals are in and working um joystick works although this is soon going to become a um yoke i think rather than a joystick and the throttles work so i think the airport is the airport the runway is that way i think i put the handbrake on didn't i is it down here right we have movement so yeah, the ATC plugin is in. No idea how you use it. Uh, yeah, it's working in this chaos, thank you. Uh, it's not working in Flight Sim World. But I thought, well, why not actually uh, stick to this and get it uh, to a point where I can actually fly in this thing? Because this is the more superior game uh, simulation story. Um, so I thought, well, may as well actually work out how you can fly in a sink right right where's the runway i'm guessing down there so let's trundle our way down here so yeah no idea how you can set up a to and from which in flights in world uh, we could go I want to go from here to here uh, in this I don't think I can 
or whether the ATC will let me do that but I've got no idea how the plug-in works so we'll get down towards the runway uh, which I'm guessing is going to be down here somewhere um, and then see if we can actually get it uh, get the ATC up I'm thinking that's not the way because that's actually halfway down the runway isn't it Hello Shemansky. I think the end of the runway is over there. I feel like I've got the fuel pump on, but the fuel pump's not on. I need a little whirring. Right, so I think I've got to go across this or well, runway I'm guessing it is. And then down and round to the right. Down the bottom. So over there is the end of the runway. Uh, I'm doing okay if I could work out this. Keep dipping as well. That's why I look left and right. I think I need to change my track IR profile. Because it keeps dipping down like I'm sat in a hole. And now I seem to have stopped. Uh, this isn't multiplayer. That was the aim with trying to get flights in world working is that I, c I could then do some MP flight uh, hi Sam oh. right I found the end of the runway so that's that's a plus I think So let's put brakes on. Let's put the parking brake on, which is there, isn't it? Right. So there's a little plane from the outside. Uh, Plugins. How do I? Uh, how do I actually open the ATC then? traffic controlled by let's try that uh, it's a 172 um, how do you actually get the ATC box up it's enabled um, top bar little headset Ah, final flight plan. That's new. Arrival. How do I know what the. Uh, okay, what's the um, uh, code for Phoenix then? Uh, I have to Google this on my phone now, aren't I? Bear with me. Uh, Phoenix. Airport. This is a try. This is me learning, basically. So we're going to KPHX. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Sam. KPHX. Uh, okay, file. Is that it? Click of road to tune your comp. Okay. November 1. Seven two Sierra Papa Kilo Alpha Kilo Oscar Optimeter three zero one eight. Yeah, educational stream. Uh, okay. I don't want to pop it out really, but okay, I'll leave it up there. Oh God, no, it's gone. Hang on, where we be, people? Right, so how do I actually then 
uh, 124th installed, yeah. So I filed the flight plan. Didn't I? Okay, yeah, I didn't think it would do anything, did it? Let me pause track IR for a second. K, no, K, P, H, X. Uh, file. Is that all I've got to do? Assign a button to it. Uh, what, to bring up air traffic control? Well, is it now going to tell me to sort of turn left, turn right, and all that malarkey? Or is there a way I can get onto here? Or is that not a thing? If you have just joined in, this is an educational uh, stream. It's me learning X-Plane, basically. Uh, don't use default, use 124. You need to go to button configs and you can choose one. Uh, oh, instead of using this. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, file. Oh, it's up here, isn't it? Uh, keyboard. One twenty fourth ATC. Hide and hide ATC dialog. Um Q Q is ready with a rotate view, I can where I can live without that. Um Okay. Okay. Quest gives you actually if flight changes here. I don't want to choose a can't I just like in the default one I just want to be able to go from here to Phoenix and have the ATC tell me turn right heading blah blah blah, blah. Uh, yes Chris it's me learning X-Plane um, I put in the ATC the 124th thing. It's in. But I've got no idea what I'm um, doing with it. Uh, pretty much like the whole game, actually. Okay. Let me take off. Um, rather than just sit here for a second, because at least I can then get the. Um, I should really assign a button to that. Well, it shouldn't really take off without air traffic control, should I? But uh, let me just make sure everything works and I can take this thing off. If I can just set a flight plan and have the ATC tell me that I need to go left, you know, to this heading and that heading and whatever. We're in the air. That's, that's a start, I suppose. Right. I should be able to trim this thing now, hopefully. Because I've got the trim thing working on the uh, SciTech panel. You can with the 124. Yeah, obviously I've never used it. So uh, let me just set the trim up a little tiny bit. 
Oh, that's easy. I think I've got to trim with the panel. Although it took off with no flaps or anything. So. Right, well, there we go. We're in the air. That is a, a step foot. Oh, I don't like this. It keeps dipping me. I'm going to have to look at my uh, track IR profile because every time I look left, it dips me down here. I don't want to be dipping down there. If I look right, it's fine. I am turning now. Right. So we want to be going east, don't we? Which is why I said because we're trying to head for Phoenix. So we'll head roughly in an easterly direction. And we're climbing. And we're still... Let's get the pitch. It ends up the map. Okay. How do we get this uh, pitch working? We can roughly get level flight. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, where's M? Aha. So I want to go I was only showing around me in it. I'm turning. Right so ninja. Okay, that's not actually helping me. According to this set, I'm going the wrong. Well, this cam. Um... Right, well, that's not heading east, is it? How is that not. Hmm, map's not helping me. How is that not, like, north. I should be going that way. I'm heading east, roughly. No flight plane for D4 ATC now. They should start giving you instructions. Uh, okay. Fire flight plan. Arrival. What was it? K... KHPX? Oh, track I am. KPHX. It was close. Okay. Well, then bring up the other one. We'll go 5,000. 
Root. Option of root with NDVs. Okay, no SIDs. Okay. Why not? Okay. Well, that's not doing anything. I'm eight. That I'm still bloody climbing, and I let's bring the uh, bring the trim down a little tiny bit. Now veering off course. Yeah, I've just done that. Arrival. So KPHX. On route altitude, five thousand feet. I'm guessing. Do I need to put anything in here or not? for further instructions. No waypoints required. So I click on file and then nothing happens. Yeah, weird is uh, weird. Really sums up my uh, <laughs> my my week. Yeah, I'm still climbing. I don't really want to be doing that. Let's back off the on the map. There's a button like a D with a line through it on the map display Ooh. Uh, that one okay I wish this thing had an autopilot Click that and enter destination airport for a pink line to the destination. Uh, how do we enter the flipping? Type it. Oh, track I are. I'm guessing I've got to do the twiggly thing, and I. One of these? Use bottom right dials. Checks. Activate, I'm guessing I'll put enter. Okay, so bearing 225.
Oh, I'm getting a bit of a spin, aren't I? Hence twice. Aha! I now have a pink line. Which means I'm heading in totally the wrong direction. Okay. Right, well, now I do that, that's fine. That means I can do the same thing as I did in uh, Flight Sim World. I can just follow the line now. In a very roundabout sort of way, anyway. It does seem bizarre that that's pointing that way, where it's actually west of... Why isn't that logically following, like, north being up? That's a bit strange. Right. Ooh. Okay, so we're heading roughly in the right direction now. Thank you, Chris. Let's give it the beans and trim down. Now select read back transmission. Kilo Alpha. Kilo, Oscar, altimeter 3018 November 172 Sierra, Papa. Is that B like it was on the other to reset the. Right, still got to trim it down a little bit. Quest clearance. November 172 Sierra Papa cleared IFR to Kilo Papa Hotel X ray as file maintain 5000 squad 4700. November 172 Sierra Papa squad 4700. Okay. Right, yeah, maintain 5000 on it over 10,000 so it's close November 172 Sierra Papa cleared IFR to Kilo Papa Hotel X-ray as file maintain 5,000 squad 4700 cleared IFR to Kilo Papa Hotel X-ray as file maintain 5,000 squawk 4700 November 172 Sierra Papa November 172 Sierra Papa, squad 4700. So. November 172 Sierra Papa, descend and maintain 5000. Ah, right, okay. Well, this November is. November 172. How do I change my Papa, score? Squad 4700. Uh, okay. Radio? November 172, Sierra, Papa. Y heading 220. I'm trying. November 172, Sierra, Papa. Resume on navigation. <laughs> it's got fed up with me already. November 172, Sierra, Papa. Descend and maintain 5,000. November 172, all right, Sierra, right, Papa. Squawk right. 4700. <laughs> On the main display, hit XPDR to set squawk. Uh, you say that. Oh, that one. Uh, November 172, Sierra, Papa, squawk 4700. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, November code? 172, Sierra, Papa, Y heading 220. Yeah, but I'm trying to do four things at once here. I then. November 172 Sierra Papa Squad 470. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, okay. Uh I've done a thing. 
A thing has happened. XPDR. Okay. Code? Ah, hang on. Four. Seven. Zero, zero. Right, two two zero. And descend. Get the bloody power off. Okay. Yeah, flying's not as uh, easy as driving a train, is it? Right. Okay, yeah, cheers, Sam. Well, this is a learning flight. This is a learning stream. Uh, me trying to learn how to use X-Plane. Um, it now does what I wanted it to do. It is going to be a bit of a learning curve because I'm now flying completely the wrong way. Let's go back down here. So we're trying to make our way from Yuma to Phoenix. If I get some other way there, it would be handy. So what I was used to on the old um, uh, FSX planes, which I know on some of the 737s and stuff, if I wanted to get that brave, that you could just, when it said descend to that, you had the little dials that across the top here for the um, um, autopilot. And you then tune in the heading you want, tune in this, the altitude you want, and it would descend. Uh, which is what I used to love about flight sim. Oh, I, I like the realism, Sam. That's what I want. Um, but I want, I, all I want, basically, is to be able to get from one airport to another. That's, you know, I can trim the aircraft now. I can use my switch panels to, um, to start it now. Well, I think I'm saying I can trim it. Let's see if I can trim down. There we go. So I can use the trim on my uh, SciTech multi display. November 172 Sierra, Papa. Descend and maintain 5,000. Let's try and get us a bit of speed, which is what we want. We don't want to be plodding along, do we? Yeah, I'm trying to descend and maintain 5,000. It's a thing that's happening. It's just happening very slowly. Right, we've got to have this thing on now. I'm guessing I haven't, have I? Oh, stop climbing. Descent. November 172, Sierra, Papa. Descend and maintain 5,000. Close it. Okay. Yeah, because in real life the pilots would just take off and then um, the autopilot would take over. Not that that's what I want to do. This trim ain't working. Right, we're at 8,000. Got to get to 5,000. a bit of a descent. <laughs> I 
Okay, now I've certainly got to do something with the uh, track IR because well, it's not bad. It does seem as though I've got to move around a lot because I end up looking out the top of the plane. Right, 7,700 for 5,000. That shadowy bar at the bottom is what you use when 1, 2, 4 is up and running. Ah, this. Ah, okay. Yeah, so is there a plane in basic X-plane then, apart from going up to 737s and stuff, because I'm nowhere near that, that I, there is just a dial that, a bit like the old 737's got, where I can go tune that to that heading, tune that to that altitude. Follow for follow, by the way, keep up the work. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work like that. Um... Right, so we're doing okay. We're slightly off course, but at least we can see the course there. So I now know how to set that. So if I just jump into a plane then that's got the, um, the G1000, I can then go into that, set where I want to go to. It would then give me the line. And then, you know, I'm going to have to work out this 124th ATC, aren't I? Yeah, I've mean, seen that little thing. You had the little heading bug thing, didn't you? That you just choose the. Yeah, thanks, Ninja. Um, yeah, you had the little heading bug thing where you just choose the heading. Uh, I remember doing that before. Yeah. I don't know. If I've got the Twin Otter um, for this, but that was. Uh, a bit more complex. So I don't know if my uh, if my twatter's got um, autopilot. I don't think it has. I like this. I like the G1000. I like having to just follow a line. I can cope with that. Yeah, I can barely keep it level, Sam. Let alone try and do a barrel roll. Well, we're descending slowly. Six thousand seven hundred. We're heading in roughly the right direction. Um, set the line on the Garmin, same as the G1000. Do what, where, what, how? Because we've got it there, haven't we? I just noticed that. So we are going slightly off course. Let me bring it back over again. power roll for a barrel roll. Yeah, this isn't quite up to... Um... Oh, he used to fly a uh, jet. He used to fly the 737 and stuff. Because it was just a case of taking off, setting the autopilot and landing. That was quite simple. But I just, I don't know, it's just something... Uh, it's the same with trucks and trains. I just like little underpowered um, things that just plod along at a nice steady rate. If we make it anywhere near uh, Phoenix, I should be very, very happy. Although Phoenix is probably a way away, isn't it? I've probably only got another couple of hours that I can stream for. It's quite nice. I used to be able to listen to um, the ATC talking to other aircraft as well. Um, that was quite nice. Do I need the landing lights on? I don't do I. Uh, I don't need taxi lights. I can turn the taxi lights off now. Aerosoft ATR is good. Yeah, I'm one for sort of basic controls. I like this. 
you know, as far as a visual aid is concerned, it's quite nice. Right, we're descending through 5,900 now. We are descending very, very slowly. So then I get told off by Mr. ATC for not being on the right heading. Uh, it should show you the distance remaining on the map display. Now you have the course set. Blah. Uh... That can't be that. Four hours, 39 minutes. Yeah, I'm not going to make it to Phoenix then. I think that's going to be my eventual destination. Uh, right then. Can someone find me an airport that's closer? Uh, yeah, Sam, of course you can. So we took off from Yuma. Uh, Phoenix was probably about five and a bit hours away from when we took off. So we need something about an hour from Yuma. So is there anything that's about half an hour from where I am now, roughly? Uh, well, I don't flipping know. <laughs> um, That just seems alien to me because I'm actually going east to west to east. Yeah, I'm flying southwest. Yet yeah, that's saying I'm fly I am flying south. Where am I going? For so hang on a minute. I took off from Yuma. Phoenix is east of Yuma. Why is it saying I'm going southwest? I'm confused. Which I know doesn't take long. Turn the compass on. What on the map? Uh. November 172 Sierra. Papa. Descend and maintain 5,000. Hundred and eighty degrees. So that's south. But hang on, Yuma, I'm sure, because we were going from San Diego to Yuma to Phoenix to try and cross the states. KCOS. November one seven two Sierra Papa. Descend and maintain five thousand. Right, so now how do I set that? Can I just do it on this again then? Uh so can I change it on the air? I click, just clear that, I'm guessing. Oh, God, good God. Um. November 172, Sierra, Papa. Descend and maintain. I Go to Denver. Denver. Use the D. I've done the D. How do I then. Ah, okay. Uh, how far is KCOS? Okay. Oh, God, hang on. Okay, see. November 172, Sierra, oh. Papa. Descend and maintain 5,000. Colorado Springs. Okay, 46 minutes. That's okay. We can cope with that. November one seven two Sierra Papa. Descend and maintain five thousand. Right. Do I now need to tell him I'm going somewhere different? I do, don't I? Um. Down to five thousand. November one seven two Sierra Papa. Do 
do I need to cancel IFR and then reset it again? I'm guessing that's probably a thing, isn't it? November 172 Sierra, pop up, descend and maintain 5,000. Down to 5,000, November 172 Sierra, pop up. Right, so roughly 5,000. The logic to me is cancel IFR. November 172 Sierra, pop up, descend and maintain 5,000. Down to 5,000, November 172 Sierra, pop up. Right, I can't cancel IFR. File flight plan. Uh, was it KCOS? And we'll stay with 5,000. Don't need that. File. Request clearance. Number 172 Sierra. Papa. Cleared IFR to Kilo. Charlie. Oscar. Sierra. As file. Maintain 7,000. Squawk 4700. Right, Squawk still the same. Now it's saying November one seven two Sierra pop up. Climb and maintain seven thousand. Climb and maintain. I'm just, I'm sorry, say that five thousand. Okay, let's trim up a bit then. Okay. Right. So we're flying somewhere different. November one seven two Sierra pop up. Cleared IFR to Kilo Charlie Oscar Sierra as file. Maintain seven thousand. Squawk four seven. Zero, zero. Oh, come on. Don't start descending. Trim up. Thank you. Oh, I do like that trim wheel. Right, so that's now going to say ooh, we're 55 minutes. Let's get further away. November 172 Sierra. Pop up. Cleared IFR to Kilo. Charlie. Oscar. Sierra. As file. Maintain 7,000. Four, four, seven, zero, zero. No, don't stop descending. Climb. November one seven two Sierra Papa. Why heading two two zero? I oh, want heading two one nine. You November can't. one seven two Sierra Papa. Resume on navigation. Doesn't like me, does it? November one seven two Sierra Papa. Cleared IFR to Kilo Charlie Oscar Sierra as file. Maintain seven thousand. Squawk four seven zero zero. Cleared IFR to Kilo Charlie Oscar Sierra as file. Maintain seven thousand. Squawk four seven zero zero. November one seven two Sierra Papa. Uh yeah, thanks, Sam. I need to get a fourth monitor. <laughs> I'm going to have screens to look at all this stuff. Who would have thought three screens wouldn't be enough? Right, so we're heading in the right direction. Uh, we're climbing. Can you use TV? I um, that's not a bad shout actually. I could use the TV. No, because that's plugged into the other the other gaming rig. Uh, yeah, it's plugged into the other gaming rig. Right, I can get rid of this now, can't I? Right, so we're climbing to the right altitude. We're heading roughly back on course. Uh, I haven't got enough room to put... Have you not seen my, my setup, Sam? I haven't got room to put a tablet around me. I've barely got room to put my phone on the desk next to me. Get an HDMI. It's not... Um, no, the TV's got an HDMI input. Uh, I suppose I could just run it as another screen, couldn't I? I've got a HDMI switch that all my... Um, the consoles and the PC run through because of the uh, Elgato um, thing. 
Right, 6,400. How are we doing on time? 53 minutes. That's going down. Um, okay, we're getting there. So where is it you're flying to? I've forgotten. Colorado, is it? Sunny Colorado Springs. It better be sunny when I get there. I think I've got real world weather turned on. Right, so I need to have a look at the 124 thing. So jump in a plane. Set it using the D thing on the G1000. So I can only fly planes now that have got the G1000 in it. Um, and then go to the navigation thing and set it in there as well. So the ATC. So the plane knows where I'm going and then ATC knows where I'm going. That's actually logical. Flying the plane then, a lot easier now. I've got the trim wheel set up. I'm going to turn the water throttle on. Because it's got the water pipe on this thing, has it? Oh, what is my water? I haven't got to 7,000 yet. Can you tell me to send and maintain it? There, I'll trim down. There we go. G530 has the same D button. Okay. Right, let's just trim down. Yeah, I'm like 60 feet above. Give me some sort of leeway. I haven't got a thing that will maintain the thing. I'm way off course. You're not to worry about that, are you? You're not going, oi, your numbs go. Get back on course. November 172 Sierra. Pop up. Descend and maintain 7,000. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's going to be a thing that's happening. Right, you're certainly right about starting off in this aircraft. Isn't it B to reset the pressure like um, it was on flight sim? Let's trim down again. November 172 Sierra. Pop up. Descend and maintain 7,000. Need to get these panels closer now. Uh, that's some uh, that's some information there, uh, Sam. You posted. That's a lot of letters and things. <laughs> I'm zigzagging all over the place. They're probably thinking, where the hell is this guy going? November one seven two Sierra Papa. Descend and maintain seven thousand. No, you have to use barrow dial on the right of the main display. Read bear? Oh, that. But how do I know what it's? supposed to be they used to tell you oh, I've got a feet on the runner pedals that's really uncomfortable November 172 Sierra Papa. pressure is 30.28 how do you know that how is that a thing so at the moment it's set at that isn't it is that a thing doing a thing now. Why won't he go the other way? Me being an idiot, that's why. November 172 Sierra. Papa, descend and maintain 7, Well, no wonder it thought I was out.
Okay, so for future reference then, where do I... Where do I get that information? How do I know what that is? Oh god, I'm looking at my... See how far off course I am. Okay, yeah, we're, we're heading... <laughs> we're heading completely the wrong direction from where we need to be. Yeah, cheers, Blinky. I'm using Squirrel's um, profile. It's okay, but the problem is when I look left and my head isn't moving down, I look left, it just goes down there. You can ask ATC. What, for the pressure? Okay, well, let's... Um, I should stop him whinging now. Right, you realise I'm never going to be able to fly without you lot being here, don't you? Right, so that's 7,000 again. Let's just trim up slightly. And then worry about getting roughly in the right direction. I could definitely do with a plane um, that's got something like the G1000 then. I do like a landing gear and I'd like a decent autopilot. Is there anything out there like that? should trim us out. Right, we're heading roughly in the right direction now. We're nearly or thereabouts at around 7,000. And we're 36 minutes from the airport. By Jove, I think we might actually have this. Which is why I wanted to do a... Um, let me turn track out for a sec. Uh, which is why I wanted to do a bit of a learning stream because I knew you guys would be around to talk me through it and I, I really wanted to persist with um, explaining you're so entertained you're easily entertained then what me learning how to fly that's entertaining uh, so, but we can't do multiplayer in this can we there isn't a multiplayer um for X-Plane because I really like the idea if I'm going to do this round the world flight thing um, I really do like the idea of doing some multiplayer in it yeah I've got another 35 minutes yet Blinky uh, Blinky it's 20 to 3 in the morning man which I know is unusual for you but you know I'm so glad my switch boxes work. I don't really care now they don't work in Flight Sim World. Because this does what Flight Sim World... Um, this does what I needed it to do. Who's me? I'm trying to look at aircraft now. Afternoon, James. Uh, we're not on rails, James. <laughs> we're in the air now. We've evolved. Okay, so the wind's fine. realize if I get this bug, I'm going to have to come back tonight and do some more flying. It's 
So we might have to use a slightly faster aircraft. What do you say on multiplayer? In Flight Sim World, there's the option of... We could, we could have done a multiplayer flight. Um, there isn't that option. I'm saying is there in uh, X-Plane. Still a little bit low. Let's trim up slightly. Right, so we're roughly on course, because there's our course. We're roughly at the right altitude, because we should be at 7,000. So we're climbing slowly. We're a third party plug in, so we'll kind of explain. Yes, I'd love to do some multiplayer flying. That would be awesome. If anybody knows anything that works, um, FS Cloud. Is that easy to set up, though? Yeah, I've got an xplane.org account. I think that's where I bought the um, the Twatter from. November 172 Sierra, Papa, Kilo, Lima, India, Charlie, altimeter 3023. Right, so he's now saying altimeter 3023. So I've got to come in a bit with that, haven't I? Ha! Right, you've I've got to climb again. There you go. See, I'm getting the hang of this. And we're almost on course. Oh. Right, okay. So FS Cloud could be one for the future then. Right, so what are, what other stock X-Plane aircraft have got this same um, G-1000? Or have I just got to stick with this Cessna for now? This is okay, it's just a little bit slow. Which is why we've still got another 31 minutes to go until we arrive at uh, Colorado Springs. We're roughly, we're just about climbing really, really slowly. I've got this thing trimmed quite nicely now. Look at that. That's not doing too bad, is it? DR-401 from Aerobasque. Free. We like free. Is that a prop? So we're just about off course. Let me just swing that back in again. Diesel, God, if that would be, I would be um, in my complete element. <laughs> there was a diesel-powered plane out there, <laughs> chugging along the skies in something diseasily. That'd be awesome. Right, so I know now how to set my uh, squawk. That's fine. I know how to set the um, the pressure. I know I do that. I know now how to use the D thing to set up where I'm going to. That works, and I know how to use the air traffic control thing up here. That's awesome. Sort of train with wings. If I can find something now where I can actually just set the heading, um, even just the heading, an altitude, then I'd be a happy chicken. I'm 
winner winner Colorado dinner exactly I can certainly see how you can get the um, the flight bug which is a good thing because two weeks today I'll be at the flight sim show um, and it'd be pretty pointless going to that if I wasn't into flight really I do want to get rid of my hotas though that is something that's going to happen uh, and get myself a yoke. Although I haven't got really room for a yoke, so I have to move the steering wheel. Uh, FSX. FSX is okay. I started out on FSX. Um, repair your wallet. Yeah, I've got some money to take with me. It's just room, and that's the problem. If I get a yoke, I've got to move the steering wheel out of the way. Um, whenever I want to do flight and I don't really want the house of doing that at the moment the joysticks to my left uh, the throttles to my right and they stay there and as all I do is unplug the G27 and plug in the rudder pedals from the USB so it's quite easy at the minute so we'll see I wouldn't mind getting a couple of more gauges so I've got the multi-panel and I've got the, uh, the switch panel. Uh, I can't see the point in the radio one, so I'm not really. Don't think I'm going to get that involved. Where I want to do the radio stuff, but I like the idea of having some of the um, the gauges because I've got a place I can put them. All right, it's okay. This thing's trimmed quite well now. <laughs> You're gonna need a, we're gonna need a bigger boat. My desk's eight foot wide and it's full. The fact that I sit within like six on six feet of it or five feet of it, I suppose. Right, so how long roughly would it take to set up FS Cloud? Is it that difficult? Turn the HDD jar on the left of the main display until the blue tab is at the top of the compass. Do what where? All that thing. Oh, the heading bug. Should be. Well, that's saying, you know, that's saying I should be at course is 225. So that really should be at 225, shouldn't it? How do I get that to actually follow that, though? This thing actually got on autopilot. Because I've turned the autopilot on on the switch panel and the altimeter light's flashing. Oh, that's gone off now. I can set the nav. Push heading on the left of the map display. Uh, so if I then change that to 225 we should then change course oh 
Okay, well that's good. Ah, I like that. Other oh, display. What's the, oh, this one? Hang on, autopilot. No, I've just turned it off. The AP button. Yeah, it's not working. Hang on, this is. Well, it is and it isn't. It says it's on. Even on my switch panel, it says headings lit up now, but it's not actually changing. Uh, hang on, so I've got to change the. Aha! There we go. Right, okay. So, we, after flying for an hour, we finally got the autopilot worked out. Okay. So, what about altitude then? There's a bug here, isn't there? I'm guessing it's this one. Click the altitude. Well, I'm still saying seven thousand two hundred. Why isn't that descending now then? It's on. It's on altitude. Um, Oh, I can use my little dial. Yeah, hang on, it's doing it. Oh, I'm so in love. The little dial on my uh, panel now, I can switch it to altitude mode, and I'll just dial that in at 7,000. What if I'm doing the same with heading? Hang on, I'm going to have to have a play. If I change that to heading, and then turn my little thing. Oh, my God. Oh, I can twiddle my thing. Oh, I'm in love. Right, so we finally worked it out then. This thing's flipping awesome. So, it now does exactly what I want it to do. We've got an autopilot that I can use my panels on. Because my little panel now, uh, which I'm going to post a picture of in Discord, because I can. Um, so those of you watch following the Discord server. Um, uh, I'm going to post a picture of that in Discord, because I'm so impressed. Uh, not trains in flight. Oh, that's not how you spell that. There you go. I am so utterly impressed with that. Right, so now I can use my switch panel thing to, when it comes to descend, I can then descend 
fire. I think it's quite... Um, yeah, I think it's, it take me down to sort of thousands at a time. So that's pretty freaking awesome. So I can now specify the heading I want, the altitude I want. I can get the ATC to tell me that. I can change the... It's a, well, this now does exactly what I want a flight sim to do. You guys are awesome. Thank you very, very much. Uh, just for the sake of it, I'll actually post a picture of my other box the other side because I've got one under... That one's under my left-hand monitor. Uh, under my right-hand monitor. Is, I'll post that one as well. So if you're on the Discord server, you'll see... Uh, There you go, the one on the other side as well. There you go, that's the one on the other side. Right, so now I've got to keep flying along at this, and we've got 18 minutes to go. At some point soon, the air traffic control should be telling me then to descend, I would have thought. Oh, I've got to get gauges now. Sam, those two switch boxes. You can see now why I wanted to get them working. Um, they're awesome. The one on the right is just... You flick the masters on and everything comes to life in the plane. It's just brilliant. And the one on the left I've never really used. Because I haven't had a plane that it's worked with. There's actually a display in the middle that when you've got one with a digital autopilot that display in the middle comes on with all the information and you've got the flaps control on there as well and the pitch is on there on the one on the left uh, so I've been controlling my pitch uh, with that and it works really well the one on the right is uh, is awesome even just the flicking the landing gear up has just got a, a sense of sort of satisfaction um, just for well I may as well just post another picture because well, that's nice YouTube um Obviously, then, I've also got the um, the throttle as well. Uh, let me post that. Uh, so there's the throttle that I've got, which is on my right hand. And then, for completion's sake, oh, if I lean back. And I'll also post the, uh, there you go, the joystick as well. Slightly blurry photos, but there you go, uh, with a light above my joystick. Right, so I'm slightly off course, getting back to the actual flying, I'm slightly off course. Um, but that's fine, it's only got 16 minutes to go till we get there. Oh, I want to do another flight now. So at 7,000, we know how to do that. Uh, I can turn that on and off now with my panel, which is great. We're flying on quite nicely. That's where we're going to, I think. So yeah, those panels, I think about 80 quid each I pay for the two panels. I bought the uh, the switch panel first and that was brilliant and then bought the multi-panel but I, I will be looking at gauges at the flight sim show in uh, in two weeks time if you push the nav button it will follow the purple line uh, I can do that on my little panel Turn heading off. We say that. There we go. It's turning. 
Turning's happening. I must have walked my hotels. Oh, they're good, mate. The only reason I haven't splashed out on them is no money. Um, it's a brilliant bit of kit. Uh, I said I'd love a yoke, but because of the way my setup is, uh, I've literally to the my arm of the, the my chair uh, finishes. Oh. Sierra, Papa. Y heading two three zero. Vectors for the visual runway three one. Descend and maintain seven thousand. Yeah, the the arm of my chair is level with that little shelf that the the um, joystick's on. To my right. The arm of the chair touches the G27 gear stick. To the left, to the right of that, is the the throttle. So I I like it because I can leave it in situation. But as a, they are so heavy and so well built. It is a cracking bit of kit. Um, flying two three zero. Well, that's going to put me back on. So if I turn that back to heading now. And then change that to uh, two three zero, which I'm going to use my little dial for. Oh, that's so nice! Uh, that's pretty much. That is exactly how I paid for that. I got up my Argos card and paid for it like six months later. Argos card for the win. Right. Send and maintain 7,000. We've done that. We're flying heading to th uh, 230. We are 13 minutes away from landing. But yeah, it's a bit of kit. It's so hefty. And said all the buttons that are on the, um, the throttles, you can do the flaps on that. Um, you've got um, buttons on there that I don't even know what you do what they're used for you can actually separate the throttles as well so I've got it set as one they're locked together you can separate so you can have two independent throttles for twin engine aircraft um, it's just an awesome bit of kit it's more for you know, sort of combat flying because all the buttons that are on the joystick um, you've got triggers and stuff like that that you can map to other things I mapped so many at one point I forgot what they did um if it wasn't for the G27 being in the way, I would have a, um, a yoke. But as far as build quality is concerned, and because of the way my setup is, yeah, it, it works brilliantly. I think that's all I need now is a couple of gauges, which directly in front of me, um, I've got the G27. Um, actually, let me, while that's doing that, let me just slide back a little bit. So you've seen either side of me. You may take another picture in the front of me. There you go. So directly in front of me, I've got the G27 um, steering wheel. And then behind that, um, I've got my central monitor, which is on a shelf. Uh, above it is the audio compressor. Above that is the keyboard for my second computer below that is my main gaming keyboard so it's quite snug in here <laughs> if the wife finds out I'm blaming you just blame me it's all fine shame we couldn't get you to a flight sim show Sam right so we are uh, 11 minutes away apparently we're at 7,000 feet so at some point soon um, we should be descending We also are in um, Colorado, aren't we? Denver's in Denver, the highest airport in the US. Because that doesn't look like we're at 7,000 feet. That looks like we're quite close to the ground. That's why it's not telling us to descend, isn't it? Because if we descended to sea level, we crash into the ground. 
Yeah, Sam, we've got five, six of us, I think, going this year uh, from um, the Discord, which is going to be awesome. Uh, it'd be nice to get a few more next year. So I'll be tweeting out lots of pictures, posting lots of pics on the day. Um, may even do a live stream from the bar uh, like we did last year in the evening. We will see. Yes, yeah, so 5,500. So we're, only, we're 1,500. Number. So 3029. Uh, so that way. 3029. Okay. Mm, uh, <laughs> two weeks time chaos. We'll probably be uh, back at the hotel, I should imagine. With a beverage. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a good day. Enjoyed it last year, but um, I just started dabbling in flight last year. Actually, I think I ordered one of these switch boxes whilst at the show. But I ordered it on Amazon while I was stood there because it was cheaper on Amazon than it was the deal they were doing at the show. But I will look at gauges this year. Right, so it does say eight minutes. It hasn't told us to change our heading yet. Uh, yeah, I did buy a new PC. That was October last year. See, I came out for the flight sim show and bought a new PC. We won't be doing that this year, that's for sure. Right, so when's it gonna hand me off? Does it hand me off to the um to the tower at some point then? I'm guessing. Oh god no. Right, so is FS Cloud something that can be set up easily? I know you said it was difficult to do. Because I really like the idea of doing some multiplayer flight. I think that could be one for tomorrow afternoon. If we can get it set up tomorrow morning. Or if I can get it set up tomorrow morning. I think that could be a good... Uh, Sunday afternoon flight thing. Right, I can't even see the airport on the map here yet. It's not a huge job, it's lots of little steps. Okay, there's about to be a YouTube video somewhere, I should imagine, um, telling how to do it. And is it then, if it's multiplayer, are you flying with anyone around the world? So is it just massively multiplayer? Or can you set up a, a local invite-only type thing? He's arranged up. Uh, oh, to zoom in on the map, you mean? Uh, that way, I'm guessing. Oh, wrong way. Oh, track IR. Oh, no, there we go. 
Where's our airport there, look? November 172 Sierra, Papa. Fly heading 130. Climb and maintain 8000. Climb and maintain 8000. Okay. Uh, altitude. November 172 Sierra, Papa. Climb and maintain 8000. Oh, turning that dial. Oh, see, I just flick the thing on the multi-panel to altitude and turn the little silver dial and up to 8,000 we go. That is so impressive. Everyone's on my... Oh, I like the idea of that. But have you got to follow proper flight rules and stuff? Or can you just take off and then fly somewhere? Because, uh, you know, we just just beginning this adventure <laughs> I'm going to be told off if I you know use the wrong taxiway and stuff like that oh I really like this now Who needs flight sim world, eh? We don't need flight sim world. We've got X plane. With X plane, you can fly without ATC. Uh, and then just use the onboard ATC to say where you're going. Because it would be nice if we could just organise a flight together, get a few of us to fly from one place to another place, and get a few people in Discord chatting. Okay, I'm maintaining 8,000. Turn it around to heading then. And then twiddle my dial. Uh, 040. I've gone the wrong way around it, haven't I? Well, I'm committed now. Turn that little dial to turn. That's so impressive. Flights in what? Yeah, I can recommend now this multi panel. Let me get read my big message. Oh, for God's sake. Let me do this thing open. Uh, read back. Heading zero. I don't like being a woman's voice. Can I change that? And I want to get a button map then so I can read back messages. Okay. So runaway heading now. I will be in a second. Uh, out there somewhere. I'm guessing. Where's our airport then? airport's down there. Why is it telling me to go this way now? Uh, we're going the wrong way, people. We're now flying away from the airport. Yeah, I think I'm going to be about on this. Uh, okay. Oh, that's so satisfying. Just turn that little dial. Yeah, multi-panel, my new favourite thing. I want to go on the ground. Because it'd be nice to see other aircraft about, really, wouldn't it? 
or again in um, I, might, I can only compare this to flight sim where you'd hear it the ATC talking to other aircraft as well which sometimes a bit off pointing <laughs> yeah I can see that <laughs> possibly a bit of tango going on there Right, I'm loving this now. I know it all works. <laughs> you know when you've been tangoed. Yeah, this is now doing exactly what I wanted it to do. I can set the altitude. I can set the heading. Using my switch box thing, I can just control it all from there. I've got the... Um, uh, sorry, the multi-panel, I control it all through there. I've got the switch box thing for starting and stopping the aircraft and all the lights and stuff and the landing gear. Oh, this is awesome. I'm loving it. We're still... Hang on, where are we now? So we're here going this way and our airport is over here. So four minutes away, apparently. Although I imagine it's going to bring us round into some sort of pattern around here. Well, definitely a, a much needed learning curve. I don't think without you guys, I would have actually endeavoured with this. I need to have a bit more practice with the ATC. Um, but this is brilliant. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm up there with you, Sam, now. I think it's going to be a while before I make the leap to jet. Uh, I do like the slow ploddiness of uh, prop stuff. But I can see now with jet how easy it would be uh, to control now because I can also use my switch box I've got a course mode heading indicated airspeed vertical speed and altitude so I can change all those in my little switch my little multi-panel um, that's quite nice wings is wings uh, well exactly I wouldn't mind something a little bit faster than this because what we're doing 112 knots I was a little bit slow uh, but now I've got used to these panels. Because I don't get them in the twatter. I need something with... Um, with these in. Concord next. Yeah, not quite. I wouldn't mind a twin. Just to get a little bit more... Um, a little bit more speed. Excuse me. I do think I could be back um, later this evening doing another flight somehow. Because we started in San Diego. San Diego to Yuma. Yuma to Colorado. Um, Dash 8 is on sale at 25. Don't tell me that, Sam. But it's like got a G1000 in it. Now it's a bit too big. I don't want to go up straight up to a dash. Um, what about a Grand Caravan or something? Or is that in stock in the game? I quite like the Grand Caravan. Well, that was only a single, isn't it? A little bit quicker. We want something about the 150, 160 knots. One, seven, two, zero. Papa, why heading two, two, zero. Okay, two, two, zero it is. Oh, I like to turn that little dial. That's so satisfying. Um, two two zero. You no, know, I quite like this now. I've got used to being able to just. I got my heading one there. Or am I just stuck with a one seven two? Basically, I want this in a faster plane now. <laughs> Got used to how it works. So, our airport is... Um... Oh, God. Uh, over here. 
that we're now heading back towards it. Slowly. Caravan's turbo prop. As engine complex. Yeah, that's fine. I can deal with that. But has it got the G1000 though? Oh no, you said that, didn't you? But is the caravan a stock X-plane plane? Oh, if we can land this, I'll be really impressed. I love the fact that it's actually taking me sort of round in a in a pattern, which will be epic. Uh, aviation P forty two or Saab three four will be the next step up. We think. Or Saab. I always fancied a Saab, and he stopped making them. I keep getting. Um, stuff from uh, X-Plane saying there's stuff on sale I think I'm going to be look it was trains last week <laughs> I do still really no not stock okay I do still really love the idea of doing this round the world flight never heard back from um, Just Flight about them helping me out with it I think they're too concerned with um, the fly sim show coming up. I'll try and speak to them at the show if I can. So FS Cloud, I think, is the first thing we need to look at setting up. Oh. I keep getting to acknowledge, don't I? Uh, heading two eight zero November one seven two Sierra Papa. Right, if any of you guys haven't got this multi-panel, I think you need to get one because it's flipping epic. Oh, we've got ground control to me, to Tom, clearance delivery and tower on there now, look. Does he hand me off, though? Will he now go contact tower on blah de blah de blah de blah Default Columbia 400 is a G1000. Ooh, I like that then. So it's got the same two displays as this. Right, so over there... Oh, God. Track IR for the win. Over there somewhere... I think it's there, is our airport. That's where we're heading for. Yeah, I've got to get a button mapped to get this pop up. I need to do some button mapping. Oh, good. So the Columbia 400 then could be the next one. All right. That's cool. And that's a little bit quicker than this then, is it? So I need to then... I'm going to start getting sucked into this, aren't I? I need to look at scenery and stuff like that now. See, now this is, this is what I like. Wrong way. 310. Uh. Ah, no. It's, it's me thinking my airport was down here. It's not. It's there, isn't it? Right. Port field in sight. In front of me. Yes. Okay.
Right, well surely it's going to take me on a... It's not going to take me straight in, is it, from here? It's going to take me round and back again, I'm guessing. 400 crews at 235. Throttle back on the... Well, it's not going to come straight in for a landing now, am I? Because it's told me, it hasn't told me to descend. It's told me to stay at 8,000. So I'm guessing I'm going round and then to come back in. November 172 Sierra Papa runway 31 clear to land. Runway 31 clear to land. November 172 Sierra Papa. Okay, well, let's turn your autopilot off then. Uh well, if I'm at 8,000 feet, I'm not going to land from here, surely. So I have to go round and back, aren't I? So they call land, okay. Yeah, in the old version of me, you would have just gone die straight into a landing. Let's put some flaps on. Oh god, maybe not put some flaps on. Don't stall, don't stall. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Yeah, don't, don't don't do the flaps thing. Oh, I don't. No. Oh, damn it! I thought the game had crashed then. After all this, that's all I want now is the game to flipping crash. All right, where's the runway? Over there. track I are. I really want to be going out and round, don't I? So what do we say? Is it 5,500 feet, wouldn't it, the runway? So we got to come down a little bit. Right, 90. Really? No. there. Okay, it's back off the throttle. Remember last time we did this, Flight Sim World? The game crashed, didn't it? As we were coming into land. We don't want that again. Track IR makes me sit. I was landing on 31. Uh, I don't know which one that is, do I? Which one I look? I 
track I are keeps bloody freaking out on me. There's a runway there. I'm going to land on that. Well, I'm going to aim for that anyway. And again, I'm a complete noob at this. I haven't quite worked out which one's which. If I land this thing, it will be a small miracle. I'm going to get my feet back on the rudder pedals. Oh, God. Flap and trim. Last one did that. The nose went up in the air. Try a flap. That's a bit high. That's very high, in fact. Come on, you sod. Okay, I was supposed to land on 31. I landed on 17. Well, maybe. Wow. Oh God! I'm trying to bloody get this thing. Cross three, five, left. Hold short of three, five, left. November, one, seven, two, Sierra, oh. Papa. Blimey. Okay, well, that was an interesting landing. <laughs> I like the taxiway thing. That's quite a good idea. Yeah, okay, so landings need work. Yeah, I don't... I need to work out... I know it's to do with the uh, the compass, isn't it? The heading of the runway would tell me which runway I'm supposed to land on. So 310 degrees, isn't it? would be runway 31. Uh, just so much going on then. I am a complete noob to all this flight. To all this flight thing, don't forget. I'll get there. Look, we. We worked out the autopilot. That is a huge plus for me for today. If we can get this thing to where it's telling me to park and then find a 124 for victory, much better. Yeah, I'll have to. Um, well, let's get this thing landed. We well, yeah, are landed. Get this thing stopped and then we'll have a look at the 124th. Yeah, well, that's what I was expecting it to line me up with the runway I was supposed to land on, see, which is why I was surprised when it said I was approaching that one runway and I was surprised when it just said, you know, clear for landing. I was like, what? It's not taking me round to take off again, is it? I'm guessing it's going to take me to parking of some sort. Oh, God. Oh, it said hold short, didn't it? November one seven two Sierra Papa cross runway three five left. Cross three five left. 
November 172 Sierra Papa. See, I like this. Other miles off where I should be. Yeah, so what I hope that 124th will then end me up pointing at the uh, the runway that I'm supposed to land at. I was just surprised it didn't make me descend. Remember, one, seven, two, Sierra, Papa. Contact ground on one, two, one point seven. Contact ground on one, two, one point seven, November, one, seven, two, Sierra, Papa. Okay, so why isn't it contacting ground? I haven't got a button for that. November there we go. One, seven, two, Sierra, Papa, gate, taxi via, hotel, Papa, India, Quebec. Gate, taxi via, hotel, Papa, India, Quebec, November, one, seven, two, Sierra, Papa. Blimey, you're giving me a lot of stuff to install, aren't you? If it's going to make it more immersive. I like the idea of having other traffic and stuff. Got to use these rudder pedals. Blimey, they're a bit fierce. Blah. November one seven two Sierra Papa, are you with me? Uh, I've got a button to say I'm with you, but okay. Well, heading towards terminal buildings. Uh, November one seven two Sierra Papa, are you with me? Uh, chaos, yeah, I absolutely loved that. I need to get work on the flight. Uh, sorry, the landing. And it'd be awesome if I'm guessing it will now. When I come to take off, it will direct me down the right taxiway and stuff. Yeah, the, the, the rudder pedals are a bit fierce. November 172 Sierra Papa, are you with me? Yeah, I've got an option to respond to him. It's not giving me anything. Yeah, I'll calibrate the rudder pedals. November one seven two Sierra Papa, are you with me? Yeah, I can't tell you I'm with you. It's not giving me a thing. You're not giving me a thing, ATC. I can't tell you. I can't talk to you. Control sensitivity set to hundred. Yeah, I'll do that once we finish this. See if we can set up the 124th as well, and then um, yeah, there's a good chance. I'll... November one seven two Sierra Papa, are you with me? I'll come back tonight and do uh, do a little bit more. Okay, which way is it taking me now? The line seems to run out. November one seven two Sierra Papa, are you with me? So I need to change, or will that be the same ATC voice? Mm. So I'm trying to do twelve things at once here. I need to change me from a woman. November one seven two Sierra Papa, are you with me? Well, I am, but I can't tell you I'm with you. That's the thing.
Right, looks like our end is in sight. It's <laughs> taking me to a gate. It's a Cessna. November 172 Sierra. Papa, are you with me? Well, I would call that. A win. <laughs> Take a longer taxi than the flight. It was a bit of that, wasn't it? That was pretty awesome. So now I can use my little switch boxy thing. So I go back to outside. Uh, I can turn off the nav lights. Um. And then I can go back inside, turn off the engine. Oh, so satisfying. Avionics off. And can I get out of this thing? Is there a door? Damn it, there's no door. I can't get out. I'm trapped. I'm trapped in the plane. Oh, well, there we go. And how we get the passenger side. Um, oh, flaps are down. I can't put the flaps on because the avionics are off, aren't I? My little autopilot display thing is um, flashing away. We did it. We actually did a flight. I am so impressed with that. Um, right. So how do I... Let me... Um, while we're here, because I'm not going to put this on uh, the YouTubes. Um, so I'm guessing options. Yeah, cheers, Blinky. I actually thoroughly enjoyed that. ATC communication on the hide. He's the same time as center right there. Okay. This all means absolutely nothing to me. Oh, it's got altimeter and Q&H. Okay. So air traffic can... AI traffic control by 124. So I haven't got to do anything in that then, have I? <laughs> yeah, it was a tad hairy at the end. Um, let's check the pedals then. Um, T-Rudder, calibrate. So left toe brake is done, right toe brake is done. Right, so I'll leave that as is then. Control sensitivity. Um, okay. Um, which one on... So set it on 100, you say? Which one? Well, all of them. Your. What, both of them? Okay, was that it? Just waiting for the stream delay now <laughs> to do anything. Uh, 50 for everything and 100 each for your. Okay. Uh, 
we can go with that just while I'm learning yeah exactly um, nothing I'm doing graphics is it that's all pretty Oh, I can have other things on my other mod. Oh, God, no, it'd be no good for streaming, though, will it? Uh, keyboard. So, hide. Start box window. I want to use, I want to keep that there. Read back to communications. So I want to do that. I want to use my button box for that. Damn it, I can't use a button box. That's a pain. Frequency select is main one. Uh, oh. W? Views, yeah. Back to the same situation again. It's I can just set it in joystick instead. Um, can I? Um, so if I wanted, to say that. But that's an axis. It's, see, it's not. It's actually a button. But it's only giving me... It's not letting me do the 124th ATC thing. Because it thinks it's a... It's an axis. Okay, so I pick a button then. Um, Where's the one twenty fourth then? Oh my god, there's a lot of buttons. It's like one two four. That's probably a good idea. So frequency selector. Apply. If I go to the next one and then read back the communications, apply, and then the next one, um, I don't have flight information to want that. Applying, and then the final one. I'm going to forget all these, aren't I? Um, I don't have an ATC dialog. Apply. Okay, so theoretically, then, let's just try setting one up then from this point. So I jump in my plane. Uh, I'll shut that door. If I can. So, start playing. Avionics on. Flickety switch. Flickety switch. Flickety switch. Mixer's ready in. So, twiddly dial. Start it up. Okay, now. Um, that's that. How do I now? So that's choosing that. That doesn't do anything. Oh my good god, what the hell's that? Select delivery. What in 
where? There. Okay. I'm saying, how would I now set up a flight to go to a place? Because that hasn't done anything. So I've jumped in my plane. I want to fly from Colorado to well, Phoenix, obviously, now. I'm not going to do it now, but... has to turn D4 ATC off. Okay. Can I do that? Is that a settings sound? What, turn those two off. Enable text ATC messages and enable verbal ATC messages. Turn those two off. Okay. pain with uh, the delay. I almost should have done this off a uh, bit of screen sharing and done it off uh, off stream but hey ho, it's, it's me learning. That's what this uh, stream was all about. We should also sort your graphics out if you have time. Um, I've got time. I've got another half an hour or so. But I just want to be able to get in my head how I can jump in a plane and then fly to a place. Is it now just a case of doing it through this again as we did before? Do I just set it up in that to go to where I want to go to? To get the ATC to work? So if we haven't got the D4 ATC anymore. How do we use the... Plugins. Reset on 24th. Reset plugin. Well, I just killed the game. <laughs> it didn't like that, did it? <laughs> I'll restart then. Right, we're just thinking about it. Right, 
Right, resume last flight. This is a game I should really get onto an SSD then, isn't it? If I'm going to be uh, doing this more. It needs to be off my normal hydro. It, it worked okay. Was it put me back where I was? Always put me back at the very start again, but okay, well, we can do that. Let's turn this lot off again. Yes, yeah, put me back at humor again now. Right, so. Um, let's go to settings then. See if I can copy um, uh, graphics. So visual effects, texture quality is the same, anti aliasing all the way up. Okay. Um, number of world objects up to maximum, and reflection detail there okay and then draw shadows on scenery there monitors is all fine uh, main monitor visual settings field of view lateral field of view i can't read what yours is set as 74.98 degrees it's a bit specific I can't get it to that. Oh, we go. 74.98 degrees. Um, okay, that's it, isn't it? Okay, we're about to redo its thing. Yeah, I do need to sort my um, track IR out, but I can do that. Right, so, noob time then. That seems a bit far away to me now. Can't bloody see anything. Um, how I've jumped in I want to start a flight to somewhere how do I do that and then so I can get the taxiway see I've got to sort this track IR out um, so I can get the taxiway thing on move it closer um, it's quite nice being able to see a bit of scenery but That's cool. That's got a good balance of, you know, what's the out the window. But, yeah, track IR. I look directly right and it takes me out to flipping aircraft. So I can sort that out. Yeah, so, jump in. want to fly somewhere. How? And I want to get this, this the 124th working. Yeah, because the dash is closer on the airliner. So how do I use this 124th? Do I still set it up? Do I still set it up on this first? Did I read the menu again? Okay. Yeah, I'm using the Ferry One's profile. I think I'm using the Ferry One's profile. Um, yeah, delivery doesn't do anything. Oh, he's clicking and nothing is happening. 
He may turn on the radios. Uh, they're not on. Come on, Zon. So it's this little panel, isn't it? That's the radio. Con one's on. Con one mic's open. I don't know. It's all new to me. ATIS. Nothing. Is there an audio setting in the one in the plugin? Uh, options. Can't see anything. Ah, tower, file flight plan. Now we just make sure you get that right back in my head again. Get rid of that. Uh, okay, flight number. So what are we? November 172. So, November 1. Seven to Sierra Papa, and we're from here where we are now. Um, what was where did we go and um, pick an airport? Let's just put EDDL just so we can get it working. First box, we can put a call sign so I can put Steve. then put the N172 zero power in that one. So going from here then, so let's put KDE in. So flight plan. So look for SIDs and stars. We don't want to go visual. Steve! Insert. Plug in flight level incorrect. Uh, oh, flight level. AD three twenty. So we go uh, seven zero seven thousand. Okay, request IFR clearance. Right, that's very low volume. Okay, that's got very low volume. So sound 
I'm guessing that's radios. Let's crank it up a bit. Set the transponder code to 2364. Okay, that was my... And you can change voices, either male or female. The 124 settings. Is it there? Uh, what's the question mark? Okay. Well, there wasn't a volume thing in here. There's no volume here. Let me see if that does actually. Um, how was my? What did he say it was? Um, what did he say it was? Squawk 2364. Did that one? No. No. That one. No. What the hell? How do I change my squawk? No. I didn't. And then it was the bottom ones, wasn't it? It's got to be one of them, surely. XPDR. And code. Ah, yes, there, wasn't it? Is it 2364? Yeah, thanks. Uh, let's get rid of that. Taxi to runway 12. Call right. back when on holding point. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Right, let's get in there. A little bit more. Okay, so has it actually set me a course then to, to follow? Or does it not do that? it doesn't I tune ground taxi to runway 12 call back when not a holding point but does it not um, well that's taxi route okay well don't really want to take off again at least I know now how to actually do that. That's cool. Um, I need to we'll get a button for the. Oh, 
Oh, it's a little bit smoother now. Can you make that rain bigger down the bottom? Is that a thing or not? Make room 12. Cool, we're at a holding point. Okay. So, I mean, how do I know which way to go? Not this way, obviously, because this is a <laughs> parking area. There's, it just, it just, just practice and turning around. Ah, uh, okay. Which is why I need a fourth screen, so I can have the charts up, or find somewhere for my iPad. Well, this is where we started, isn't it? So... <laughs> I'm guessing down here. Or maybe not, because this is across the runway. No, this is where we came in. Probably the wrong runway. But yeah, charts. I think if I, I need to do a bit of pre-planning with this, then don't I? I can't just jump in and go. I need to work out where it started me, where I've, how I've got a taxi. And then it bogs down. Just do a bit off roading there. Oh, I was reading chat. <laughs> now the chat on Discord. Your Discord's over there on my left. I just want to get, what I'll do is try and get in the air and see if I can work out the autopilot and then we'll stop. Right, so request takeoff. Did I have a button mapped to acknowledge what he said? That one? I thought he's a mouse. Yuma Municipal Tower. Good afternoon. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa on holding point of runway 12. Ready for departure. Yeah, it's definitely a bit quiet, isn't it? Steve November 172 Sierra Papa, wind 189 or 8 knots, runway 12, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff. Very, um, robotic voice. Uh, read back. Cleared for takeoff, runway 12, Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Okay. Have we got a seatbelt on? Got a bit of bit of rudder coming down the runway, and we are airborne. Pilot on. 
nav on. Do you get an in flight meal? Steve November 172 Sierra Papa, QNH1021. Contact center on 127.25, bot. QNH1021. Contact center on 127.25, goodbye. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Right, and that, that's set to QNH now, which we never had before, did we? So how do I do my Q&H? Because we did, it was the bar uh, barometric thing before. So how do I do... Q and H then. Contact center. Center. Good afternoon. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa passing flight level 5 tree. Climbing flight level 70. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa, climb to flight level 70. Climbing to flight level 70, Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Where the hell's the. It must know where it's going. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa, turn right heading 272. Turn right heading 272, Steve so, November 172 Sierra Papa. Right, so I want that on heading now, rather than nav then. Um, and change that to 272. 1, 2, 3, yeah. Okay, well that was... I do like the fact that we've got to do this ourselves. I've got to choose where, who I've got to contact. So that's actually like tuning the radio. Quite like that. That's a thing. Could do this being bigger. Um, way, 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 way easy, Tiger. Um, that was a thing for a second. Yeah, I could do this text being bigger. Because chat comes over that as well, doesn't it? Yeah, that was a bit of a thing there for a second. You can drag it but not resize it. But I was going to click on a thing, isn't it? Yeah, I can't drag it. That's fine. So they haven't told me an altitude. Oh, it's 7,000, wasn't it? Um, uh, 7,000. And then click on altitude. At the very top of the grey box, you let you move it. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's put that over there. There we go. Probably because chat comes in down the bottom. Right, so at flight level, or well, should be coming down to seven thousand. Q and H. How do I change the Q and H then?
because that was this thing was a barometric pressure. Where's Q and H on here then? Is that a thing? Because yeah. we could be at the wrong altitude now. hours. Yeah, that's a long flight. Wasn't there an option though in the thing not to have it as um, uh, I'm sure I saw it. How to eat from Q&H. No, I don't want that then, do I? So they should then tell me to go altimeter do de do de do 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 Okay. Um right, well I need an airport close by because I want to get this thing on the ground again. Cause I need to go and eat. Um Where's, uh, what's that? K A K A K O. So, how do I? How can I cancel this flight then now? The other menu in it now. Where are we? Cancel IFR. Center. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Please cancel IFR. IFR. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Cancel. IFR cancelled. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. So now how can I. To tower? How can I now. A request. No. Ah, I can declare an emergency, can't I? And land. Let's try that. What is that going to do? K A K O. Um, let's pause track IR for a second. K A K O. Well, I didn't do anything. Ah, I got to click on declare emergency and like, oh bloody track AR. Okay, K A K O declare emergency. I didn't do anything either. Okay, no good if I did actually have an emergency, is it? Okay, I, I, Houston, I spot a problem. But I've now also got rid of the the bar thing at the top as well. I think it's because it's turned off, isn't it, now? Declared <laughs> most of you just don't care. Uh, right over there somewhere, there's a there's an airport. OK, 
Okay, why isn't that? Center, request cruise altitude change to flight level 70, Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Center, request cruise altitude change to flight level 70, Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa, turn right heading 274, climb flight level 80. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa, turn right heading 274, climb to flight level 80. We're going to wait for it to catch up with me now. Turn right heading 274, climb flight level 80, Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Altimeter tree zero one eight. Contact Denver Center on one tree two decimal eight five. But altimeter tree zero one eight. Contact Denver Center on one tree two decimal eight five. Goodbye, Steve November one seven two Sierra Papa. Contact Denver Center. Denver Center. Good afternoon. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa passing flight level 69er, climbing flight level 80. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa, turn right heading tree 00. You are 1000 feet below your clearance altitude, climb and maintain flight level 80. But I want to land, why am I going up? And then heading, what was it? Heading 300. Uh, oh, I do like to turn that little tiny thingy. Okay, heading 300. There we go. Turn right heading 300. Climbing to flight level 80. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Steve November 172 Sierra thing flashing Papa. up here. Climb to flight level 77. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Turn right heading tree 15. Cleared for visual approach runway 29er. Contact tower on 122 decimal 8 when established. But turn right heading 315. Climb to flight level 77. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Um, so if I go uh, level four zero, Denver Center, request cruise altitude change to four thousand feet. Steve November one seven two Sierra Papa. Steve November one seven two Sierra Papa. Descend 4,000 feet, altimeter tree 018, transition level 50. Right, 4,000, altimeter 3018, that's fine. Back off the throttle a bit now. Descend 4,000 feet. Altimeter tree 018, transition level 50, Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Hang on, 4,000 feet is going to take me straight into the ground, isn't it? Depends on what the altitude is of the. Um, surely it wouldn't let me. Don't let me crash into the ground, surely, is it? And why is that flashing up there in the top? That says handover to Colorado something regional tower. I can't see it because of the bloody font it's in. It's flashing away up here. Let me just get it into here. Yeah. Hello, head over to Colorado Plains regional handovers the Colorado Plains regional tower
Oh, it stopped flashing. Which is that airport there, so I'm flying away from it now, aren't I? We're descending, that's something. Right, so we now know... Left, left, left. Yeah, I know. Um, I now know I can set that up then. So through that, as so you go tower, and I can set up a thing. That's good. Yeah, if I change my heading then. Well, no, I've got to wait for it to tell me, I? but it's not letting me contact the tower. Steve November 172 Sierra Papa. Altimeter tree zero one eight hectopascal. Contact Colorado Plains Regional Approach on one two zero decimal tree five. Expect runway two nine to land. Bye. Okay, so approach. Altimeter tree zero one eight hectopascal. Contact Colorado Plains Regional Approach on one two zero decimal tree five. Runway two nine to land. Goodbye, Steve November one seven two Sierra Papa. Yeah, the 176 is the recommended heading, I'm guessing, then. There's not going to be contact approach yet. So I go heading... Uh, change that round of heading. And then go 176. She's saying... Oh, stays I need to turn left by 180 degrees. Ah, okay. So I still got turned by 100 degrees, so... I'm with you. Yeah, very, very close to the ground. That's slightly concerning. be a good thing. Yeah, it's not letting me tune approach now either. And that's very close to the ground. tune anybody so there should be a runway around here somewhere pretty much heading straight towards it it says Colorado Plains region approach click on approach nothing Yeah. 
Interesting. So there's a flaw there then, it won't let me tune. Now I see a runway, I'm going to go for it. Autopilot off. Brace yourselves, people. We're coming in at a really strange angle. Oh, shit. Okay, that's a bit bouncy. Yeah, that's uh, airborne again. Wow. That's a bit grassy. Come on, you son. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have really have done that at that angle. <laughs> wow yeah, that went a bit wrong didn't it let's um <laughs> that went that went slightly wrong Okay, well, that 124 thing didn't work as well as I thought it was going to. Um, yeah. Let me... Uh, turn the engine off. <laughs> That's probably landed it, yeah. Well, there is that, I suppose. There you go, let's get out again. I sort of abandoned it here as well. Any flight you can walk away with, uh, way with, way from, and all that. Um, wow, there we go. Right then, so I got a little bit of work to do there. Um, I think uh, I need to change my track IR profile. That's that's for certain. I will have a look at some other aircraft. And should we come back later on and do some more? I think that might be a thing. Um, yeah, so we landed. It works. Who needs flights in world? Uh, if I thought I could set up FS Cloud in the next hour, um, I would do that and then attempt to come back and do some multiplayer uh, or at least some flying with some other people around because that could be quite good fun. Um, we could do that. If not, what I might do tonight is um, uh, I'll come back about uh, 8 o'clock um, and we'll do some flying for a couple of hours. Bit of Saturday night flight. Uh, where did we get to? It's Colorado, wouldn't it? Um, because I want to do this thing. It's to be done. San Diego to Yuma, Yuma to Colorado. Let's do Colorado to somewhere within an hour of Colorado. We'll have to look at the map and do an hour, then land again. Uh, or we'll have a look in a minute at um, some of these other planes and see what we can do. Um, yeah, I'm going to forget that in three hours' time, uh, two and a half hours' time. Um, I really, really enjoyed that and can't thank you guys enough for talking me through it um 124th a little bit finickety i think but i think i'll get the hang of it um i actually quite liked the the way you got to select who you're talking to but didn't seem to be as fluid as the actual standard one but we'll see uh anyway uh i'll be back at eight o'clock um and we'll do some more flying which means i can leave the rudder pedals in their place uh that's been three hours of flight sim um which has been uh, thoroughly enjoyable yeah thanks everybody um i will be back at 8 p.m uh, a different plane different location and different catastrophes uh catch you all then cheery ho
Thank you.